Welcome to the Cater's Reversible Pendulum Lab. In this experiment, we'll be measuring the equal period point of a reversible pendulum and using it to calculate the local acceleration due to gravity, little g. Ensure the timer is in pendulum mode. You can measure the period of the pendulum by pressing the reset button on the timer and allowing it to swing through one period. Move the smaller bob through a wide range of positions. Each centimeter, measure the period and record it as a function of the bob position. At each 1 centimeter increment, measure the period in both the up and down orientations of the pendulum. Ensure that you set down the pendulum gently to avoid damaging the platform. At this point in the lab, you will wish to graph your data, as you need a value from the graph to continue. Plot the period in the up orientation and the period in the down orientation as functions of the small bob position. Add trend lines for each trace. The intersection of the two lines will determine the equal period point around which you will collect finer grained data. Measure the period for five or six positions near and surrounding the equal period point. For each of these positions, carefully measure the small bob position using the vernier calipers. We hope you've enjoyed the Cater's Reversible Pendulum experiment. And remember, if Cater's Pendulum makes you frown, turn that pendulum B down.